Hi everybody, this is Todd with the Forex Nitty Gritty Insiders Daily Video. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you had a good week. We're at the end of the week here and uh, the market has continued to show some volatility. Uh, we did have the producer price index come out today. The PPI came out a little bit higher than the forecast. So it came out at 0.1%. Forecast was negative 0.5 percent but the core cpi actually came out less than that now what that means you know typically we're um, looking at uh, interest rates and uh, how that might be impacted because of some inflationary numbers um, but the core number excludes both food and energy so that was down from the uh uh, what the forecast was. Um, right now, we still are waiting for the uh, consumer sentiment, and uh, when that comes out, we might see the market uh, move a little bit. Uh, so, wanted to uh, just talk a little bit about the uh, simple trading method using a uh, an example here on the Aussie dollar one hour time frame. And as we uh, as we look at what's happening here, you can see that the moving average at this point is moving down. And even though it's not moving down by a lot, in fact, it looks pretty flat here. From about right here, these last candles, it has started to move lower. Now, as we start to move forward on this, you can see that that becomes a little more self-evident as it begins to uh, to move down. So at this point, what we're looking for is some type of a retracement back up to a level of resistance. And that could be the moving average or it could be a price level, you know, something like that to where we're going to be able to look at entering into it. So now at this point, we could say we've got some resistance here um, at the moving average. And the lowest low of the last three, now we're going to assume that we're going to count this one as a closed candle at this point. And so the lowest low of the last three is right here. And all I'm doing is just counting back three. So one, two, and three. So when the price moves below the lowest low of the last three here, that's where we're going to place our trade to enter into it. Okay, so let's move it forward here. Now, once this candle closes, the lowest low of the last three is going to be right here. So we're adjusting that up. And if it continues to move up, we're going to continue to adjust that. Oh, now this one, you can see what happened. Drop down, actually got us filled at this at 1.0252, basically. And our stop loss is going to be up above the most recent high area. So we'll put it up above there. Um, and just looking at this past swing high or past area of resistance. Um, our first profit target then, we'll go ahead and place it down below here. So let's move it just kind of to the lows here. We'll go about 10 pips on this for that first profit target. Pretty tight, but the market has, is kind of smoothed out a little bit. Oh, we got a big move down here. So we'd have been out of half of our position. At this point, we could move our initial stop down to break even and then just continue to manage this by adjusting our stop below or just above the high of the previous bar or the previous two bars, you know, it, it will vary. But you can see that as it moves down, we can continue to drop this. In fact, we probably would have just dropped this all the way down to here, and we'd have gotten stopped out at this point. So that would mean that from our entry here, So the last three, we're going to be down on that second half about 56, 57 pips. So a pretty nice movement here, a pretty nice move 
um, to the downside, and we managed it as it started to uh, go lower. Now, you can see it got choppy, and obviously there's other opportunities, but um, that's really what uh, we want to see. Now, we're seeing a little bit of a movement here on the markets. Euro dollar, Aussie dollar, both uh, starting to move. So we, as always, Fridays can be a little bit more volatile, so we want to keep that in mind. Be careful about the weekends, especially with um, the sensitivity of the the uh, markets to news that comes out, especially in Europe. And uh, if you don't have to hold it over the weekend, uh, you might not want to do that. So we will uh, wrap it up, and if you have any uh questions feel free to let me know if not have a great weekend we'll be back uh, on monday to check out what happens between now and then so until then have a great week and uh, or great day and we'll talk to you soon